Thank you for renting from Kodiak Overland and RV Rental. This is our 2020 Winnebago Micro Mini that you've rented. So we'll do a little quick walkthrough and then we'll help you out whenever you get here as well. But a little quick video for you to know how it works. So first here, we'll go. So you've got two full propane bottles here. Um, they'll be, they're always pulling from the one on the, the right, I guess it'd be, or your passenger side is the valve that's open, but both tanks will be open. So it'll pull on both. So if you're using a lot of heat, hot water, anything like that, that tank will be the first one to empty. It'll automatically switch over to the other. So if you're going on an extended period trip, make sure you're always checking that so you don't run out of propane at midnight. Uh, next thing, so we've got our jack. Uh, so right now you can see it's kind of hooked up roughly to the vehicle. You've got your jack. So you got a light here and then you got your up down. So, you know, extend and retract. So with your extension, so whenever you're trying to take the trailer off of the vehicle, you'll want to kind of somewhat hold this leg with this foot. It's an, it gives you about six inches of extra clearance. So you kind of hold it and then extend your jack down and then that'll pick the trailer up. So same thing, whenever you're coming uh, all the way up, retracting the jack, you'll want to watch whenever your jack gets up, these little collars, They'll hit up here to this red so whenever you're getting up really close the whole jack the jack will actually flip all the way up and that's its locking position but all the way up here so you'll just want to go real slow at that time just to not bottom out the jack um, so for whenever you're checking your level I'll go over here. so you can level the trailer this level gauge is mounted on the trailer and that's your level so your front to back level will be done with this jack. Your side to side level will be done. We've got a whole case of these little blocks and you'll stick those underneath each tire to whatever tire you need to bring up or how, however you want to do it. So that's getting the trailer level. Once the trailer is level, then you'll crank. The trailer's got four jacks, one in each corner. And these are stabilizing jacks, so they're not for leveling it. They're only for taking the bounce out of the trailer once you're fully sitting. So we recommend putting like one of these or something, unless you're in a concrete parking area. Uh, you need, don't need any, but we normally say put one of these down and they just crank. So, you see, and they just go all the way up. So they're only just real light tension on them just to take that bounce out of the trailer. Okay, so we'll go back up here to the hitch. So, if you have rented the uh, brake controller, uh, wireless brake controller, so we'll need you to make sure that you download the Kurt Echo uh, app. So if you download this app before you come, that'd be great. Um, and then we'll have you plug in. There's normally a little pin number in here. We'll make sure that that pin matches the pin you have in your phone. So you'll take this little controller, Plug it into the seven-way plug on your vehicle. This little light right here, which would come on, once it's plugged in, will start flashing. Use your app to sync your phone to this, and then it should go solid green. Then you'll connect the trailer plug to it, and it'll come in. So here, I'll show you the, so you can see it's flashing. And then once that's all the way connected, test with your phone and you should be able to make sure that we have a buzzing sound on the brakes, set your phone uh, to the brakes and then you'll have trailer brakes working the whole time you drive. So setting up the hitch. So this sway control hitch, it's sway control and load leveling. It'll make it so you tow real nice. Um, so you'll have this hitch here. So you obviously connect your wiring to the car and you've got two safety chains, one on each side to the car. Emergency breakaway cable. So make sure that this is always connected. That way, if they, the trailer came disconnected from the car, this will pull and lock the trailer brakes up. So make sure that's connected. Uh, your hitch here. So right now it's all the way in the locked position. It's all the way forward down. To release, pull it back. That's released, now you can go up and down. So, but before you tow, slide this all the way down, put your little 
cotter pin safety clip in, and away you go there. Then you're good. Make sure your jack's all the way up. Next thing, so for these sway control bars, so you just take a bar, they're both the same, one on each side. You go up here, and you just kind of shove it up in. You hear that click, that means it's locked in. To release, you pull this pin, just kind of give it a little, a little twist here. And they normally come out, but I'll try doing it one handed here. There you go. And then they come out, and then you can set them in the compartment of the camper. So, but to get set up, so you want to put it in, make sure it's on the vehicle. Don't really have any weight on the vehicle yet. Keep the weight off the vehicle. That'll make this process really easy because you want them uh, pretty loose like this to start. It'll just make it easier and not be in a bind. So then you'll take it, and lay a pin in here, set it on there, put your pin in. Make sure this pin goes up and over so it kind of holds that bar in. Then take your little cotter pin, shove that in. Now it's ready to go. You do that on both sides. Then you can lower your jack all the way onto your vehicle. It will be all ready to go. Good? Good. Okay, let's go around the camper. So here, we've got four camp chairs in this unit. So those are going with you. Put anything else in there you want. Um, so here, we've got, this is our water pressure regulator. So city water, so city water, so coming in from a house or a campground, you'll have city water. In that case, you won't use the water pump. So we put a 90 degree elbow, a water pressure regulator, and then your fresh water garden hose will go into here to your fresh source. So this is normally not on it during transport. So here we got outside shower, use if you wish. Uh, this will be a hot water heater, so you don't need anything, but if you're using gas um, or electric, you'll kind of hear it heating up and stuff like that. So you'll just hear some noises there. Uh, here we got, so brand new tires on it. Um, we've got uh, four chocks, so one goes on front and back on both sides. Okay, so here back to, back in this compartment is where we keep the fresh water hose. So you got a 25 foot fresh water hose, that'll go for your city water or to fill the fresh tank on the unit. Sewer. So this one has two sewer tanks. So we've got a gray tank and a black tank. So black tank is only your toilet. Gray tank is your sinks in your shower. So uh, if you're connected to an RV park, open your, once you get your sewer hose all connected, open your gray tank. So you can flush that out. Always leave your black tank closed until the latest time possible. That way it's got chemical in it. Help break down that waste and everything and keep the odor smells down. Um, so if that makes sense, you'd wanna, you know, you can open your gray tank, flush that, and then your black one, you would only open at the end. But if you're gonna go to a sewer tank dump place, open your black, flush it first, then flush with your gray to clear your sewer line. Uh, so here is your sewer hose. So it's just a twist lock connection. So we got four little ears, four here. So you kind of put it on and it just lightly twist locks on. So you're connected there. Then you run your sewer tank hose out. So if you're at an RV park or if you're uh, just dumping it. So this clear elbow won't be on, but it will be the same uh, twist lock connection. So this piece, this elbow would go into the RV park or the sewer tank dump place. So twist lock there. Get that all the way set in. Make sure you're all the way connected before you pull these valves. So these are gate valves. So you just pull them straight out. They come out about four inches. So all the way straight out, all your sewer will come out and flush. Uh, so you'll do that. So that's sewer right there. We do also provide some rubber gloves. So you don't have to uh, touch your sewer hose. You can put the rubber gloves on. Um, and then all these fittings and stuff go in here. Your sewer tank hose, there's two of them, and one goes on each end. There's little bumper caps. So they just kind of slide right in and hold a sewer hose on each end so you don't have to have the smell inside the RV. Electric. 
Um, so electric, so this one right now is currently set up with a 15 amp plug. So if you're at your house or something, a 15 amp regular house plug, extension cord will plug in here. If you're at an RV park, you'll want to do the 30 amp plug. That way then you can use everything in the camper. On a 15 amp, you can't use everything in the, you know, you can't use the AC unit and stuff like that, but on a 30 you can. So that's how you'll connect your power. This guy here just kind of twist locks in. So kind of go up, twist lock, boom, it's in. This light up here will turn blue. That means you got power coming all the way in. So, and then obviously there's cable TV hookups. Okay, let's go around. So there's a ladder for the roof. There is no climbing access on the roof. No roof access, do not climb on the roof. We got a uh, spare tire there. Uh, okay, so over here, so awnings are disconnected. No awning uses on any of our RVs, so they're all disconnected. So don't don't try that. Uh, there is a black tank flush, so if you are dumping your black tank, uh, if we're not doing it for you, black tank flush, garden hose. It's got a sprinkler system in there to kind of help wash the tank out, but we'll explain that once you come. So fresh tank fill. So most of our RVs, if you're going boondocking, will be full of fresh water. This one is 25 gallons. But if you need to fill more water on your trip, you'll put your garden hose kind of in here or your you know, water jug, fill it. Once you know it's full, it'll start coming back out this way. So, so try to conserve as much water as you can so you don't have to refill. Okay. Um, so we do provide lock boxes on all of our units. So if you do lock the keys, give us a call, send us a text, and we'll provide you the code so you can get your keys. Um, then on this side, last compartment, so we do have a full broom dustpan. RVs need to come back in the same condition that they go out. So clean, uh, we'll take care of the sanitizing. Uh, or there is a uh, cleaning fee of $45 an hour uh, if we have to have our cleaning crew come in. And there's also a lug nut wrench. Uh, so this will work. So if you need to change the tire, if you get a flat tire or anything, uh, you are responsible for tires. So there is a lug nut wrench that you can use your jack on your car jack up the trailer, swap your spare tire and stuff, and then go on your way. And that's it for the outside.